Perfect day at Coco Key is Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas exclusively for Royal Caribbean guests in which you can go and enjoy a full day of sun, beaches, pools, and plenty of great food as well. And we've got a full walkthrough tour of what you can expect here up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Royal Caribbean sought to deliver an amazing private island beach experience with Perfect Day at Coco Key. There's a lot to do here. There's multiple beaches to choose from, a water park, a giant freshwater pool, beach club, adults only beach, zip line, and much more. There's a really good chance that if you're taking a Caribbean cruise, it's gonna make a stop at Perfect Day at Coco Key. So how do you take advantage of what your time there? Well, I wanted to give you guys a walkthrough tour of what you can expect. When your ship docks at Perfect Day at Coco Key, there's a large pier that will take you right from your ship over to the island. Now, when you go to Perfect Day at Coco Key, there is no admission fee onto the island. You simply walk on, and most of the island is included in your cruise fare. You do not need to purchase a shore excursion, but there are certain things that do cost extra. We'll talk about them in this video. When you get to the island, there's plenty of choices to start with. Chill Island, which is a kind of neighborhood, an area on the island that you can go to. And Chill Island is meant to be a quiet beach retreat. Now, as you walk through Chill Island, you're gonna also notice there's some shopping opportunities here. You'll find some around the rest of the island as well, but there are different vendors you can go to to purchase various either Royal Caribbean swag or Bahamas souvenirs to bring back home. What's really cool is actually some of these hammocks you're gonna find in Chill Island. Most people don't know these exist. And these hammocks are complimentary. Most of Chill Island is complimentary, in fact, as well, which means it's included in your cruise fare. Nothing extra there, so it's just first come, first serve. There's also an island library. That you're going to find different stations around the island to borrow a book if you'd like to. And first up is the Rocky Beach area. I don't think this place has a name for it, but essentially it's a place you can sit and get a view by the water, but you can't actually go into the water here to Rocky, but it's really meant for, I think, for somebody who wants a quieter spot, just enjoy the view, maybe the breeze as well, but not necessarily get in the water because again, it's pretty rough over here and pretty rocky, but it's a beautiful spot and it's probably the least busy area on the island. But the rest of Chill Island is really the traditional private island beach experience. There are chairs and umbrellas and there's no cost for the chairs or umbrellas or access to the beach here at Chill Island. Really, this area is the stereotypical, I'm in the Bahamas, I wanna go to the beach. And really what makes also Chill Island different is that it's quieter. You're not gonna find live music here. You're not gonna find a band. It is meant to be really the most serene, tropical-esque looking beach you're going to find. And for a lot of people, that's what they want, a quiet beach experience. Now that doesn't mean that there aren't other people talking there. It's not a library by any means, but you're not gonna find the live music and the energy that you're gonna see maybe in some of the other venues that are out there. And the nice thing about Chill Island is it's pretty large and there's lots of space. And what's really cool about it is it also has probably one of the best snorkeling spots on the island because there's some rockiness to it, which is where you can find a little more fish and whatnot. There are day beds you can rent as well. Day beds are essentially, as you can see here, a private thing that you can purchase extra for. And essentially this is your reserved beach bed for the day. Reserving a beach bed at Coco Key provides you, of course, the venue itself along with a cooler full of water and reserved chairs for you to use. It's great for having a little base of operations. It does not provide nearly as much shade as say a cabana, which we're gonna see in a little bit, but it does provide a nice home base of operations and something a little more comfortable than just a beach chair. Also, since you're reserving it ahead of time, you don't have to worry about trying to find one on your own. It's available for you throughout the day. The Wacky Seagull is the name of the bar over at Chill Island. And the Wacky Seagull is the home base of operations for bar operations. There are gonna be waiters that will walk around the rest of the beach as well. But if you're looking to get a drink yourself or you simply wanna get away from the sun, this is a great spot for it. I really like the Wacky Seagull because of the shade it provides. And if you can go here on a nice hot summer day and sit in the shade, in one of the Adirondack chairs, enjoying a drink, man, there are some beautiful views out here. I really think this is an underrated spot and it's just a fun area to Grab your drink, maybe you need a break from the sun. The Wacky Seagull is the place to go to enjoy a drink. And if you have, by the way, a Royal Caribbean drink package, then your drink package benefits work on the island as well. There are also floating mats you can rent. You can purchase them before the cruise or once you're on the island. My recommendation is always book it before the cruise, have it all set up to go. But this is where you can pick it up and then take it into the water and enjoy there. Also, there is the snorkel shack in which you can pick up your snorkel equipment 
if you book the snorkel equipment there. If you bring your own, well, then you can chop in the water and use that as well. Diver's Den is where you can go if you're doing a scuba dive excursion through Royal Caribbean. And these are different meeting spots and there are different shore excursions you can do at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, including scuba diving. There are also lockers that you can use. The lockers are complimentary to use. You just simply enter the code, be able to use it, store your stuff, and you're on your way. There's also a first aid station on the island in case something happens, but hopefully you'll never have to go there. There's also a straw market at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And the straw market is where you're gonna find an assortment of bohemian vendors who are going to be able to sell you a variety of different things. A lot of things that have, of course, the Bahamas or Nassau or Perfect Day Echo Key written on them. It's a great way to, of course, remember your visit here with a souvenir. These stations are all run by Bohemian vendors, and it's a really good idea to bring cash with you. I think they actually do take a CPAS card now, but my advice, just bring some cash it's a little bit easier. And the, with regard to the prices, they could be negotiable here. So maybe consider the price as the starting price, but you never know with some of these things that are there. With Chill Island, I really love, again, just how quiet it can be. It's your traditional beach day, and maybe this is some place for you to go hang out. Odds are, if you have other excursions like Glass Bottom Boat and other things you might be meeting at the shore excursion building located near Chill Island. Royal Caribbean offers a variety of different activities you could do, including kayak rentals and snorkeling, as I mentioned earlier. There's different tours like jet skis you can rent. So again, depending on what you want to do during your day, you might look for an opportunity to rent something to enjoy as part of your day here, as opposed to like spending the entire day. Obviously these tours can be limited, maybe an hour or two at the most, but there are different things you can rent while at Perfect Day at Coco Key. And as I mentioned earlier, your best bet is to always pre-book before the cruise via Royal Caribbean's website. Now there are also cabanas you can rent at Chill Island. Cabanas are really nice. There's many cabanas around Perfect Day at Coco Key. The Chill Island Cabanas are a great choice for families wishing to spend a lot of time in and around the beach. Located on the north side of Chill Island area, these cabanas are separated from the rest of Chill Island to provide a sense of exclusivity. Chill Island Cabanas can accommodate up to eight guests and feature resort-style chaise lounges, a lush sectional sofa, complimentary towels, nearby snacks at Chill Grill, and a cabana concierge. Additionally, a cocktail table that houses convenience like a personal Bluetooth speaker upon request to play your own music, combination lock lid for storage and a USB outlet. Two floating mats and snorkeling gear are available upon request as well. On the north end of Chill Island is a bar and also a deck you can go to. Primarily, I think the deck is meant for people looking at other people who are doing shore excursions, but it's also a great meeting spot and a great place to kind of, well, chill out a little bit and enjoy the view. I really am a fan of shade and a good breeze and you can usually find them here. I'm not sure what the name of this area technically is, but if you have a jet ski rental, this is probably where you're gonna visit. And of course, if you're just observing somebody doing a jet ski rental, well, this might be a good place to go to check that out as well. There's also this really cool RV bar, it's called bar, but I think the idea here is that it's meant to look like an Airstream trailer, but it's actually a bar. You can go here, order a drink. It's something different to do, obviously. With all the bars, there's different menu options available, and they don't have quite all the drinks that you might find on your, your Royal Caribbean ship, but there's plenty to enjoy here. Now, Chill Grill is the main dining area for, well, Chill Island. Chill Grill is included in your cruise fare, and you're gonna find a variety of food, including tacos and sandwiches and salads and ways to customize your food the way you like it. With Chill Grill, you're gonna have a combination of traditional island fare, like hot dogs and burgers. Don't worry, they have that here. You've got corn on the cob, and you've got French fries. But there's also, and I really appreciate this, other food as well, including taco stations and quesadillas, sandwiches to try, and it's all buffet style. So just go up here, get as much as you'd like. It's going to be available for most of the day while you're visiting. So just go in there, grab a plate, and then you can either bring it back to your chair or one of the nearby tables. There is a bar available as well if you'd like to get a cocktail while you're enjoying your lunch. And there's also complimentary drink stations as well, which serve up water and flavored juices. There's covered seating nearby, which provides shade from the sun. Also, in case it rains, like you can see here in this clip, it does actually rain perfect day at Coco Key, but usually if it does rain, it's very short lived. And before you know it, you're on your way. When it comes to the seating here, it gets very busy right around peak lunchtime, which is you know right around noon, one o'clock or so, but you usually can find a spot. Breezy Bay is our next stop. Breezy Bay is located on the south side of Perfect Day at Coco Key. It's a smaller area and a lesser known beach, but Breezy Bay, as the name implies, usually has, well, a nice breeze here. The good thing about Breezy Bay is it's a little less crowded than maybe Chill Island will be, but it provides a really nice beach 
and just more seating options. When it comes to, you know, Breezy Bay or Chill Island, honestly, I think it's more of just what do you prefer the view of? The negative part about Chill Island may be just simply how big it is, so it gets a little more crowded. Breezy Bay is a smaller area, but Breezy Bay also doesn't quite the view that Chill Island does if that really matters to you. There are also day beds you can rent at Breezy Bay, similar to the day beds you found at Chill Island as well. These do cost extra, but the chairs and umbrellas that are all around Breezy Bay are included in your cruise fare. You know, renting a beach bed or a cabana is really about having that area just for you to enjoy. And the great thing is you don't have to compete for it, obviously, because it's yours throughout the day. Snack Shack is also located in Breezy Bay, and this is one of a few Snack Shack locations throughout the island. Snack Shack is included in your cruise fare, and it's one of my favorite go-to places to eat at Perfect Day at Coco Key. I really love the menu here. Maybe it's because of the amazing mozzarella sticks or, of course, the crispy chicken sandwich, but it is wonderful. I got to mention one other thing. When it comes to the Snack Shack, there's a secret sandwich not listed on the menu. If you ask for the secret sandwich, it's essentially the crispy chicken sandwich with mozzarella sticks and marinara sauce on top of it, making it a poor man's chicken parmesan. You got to try it. So just ask for the secret sandwich. Don't worry. They'll know what you're talking about. In addition to that, though, there's lots of great choices. The desserts are really nice, too. And you can take the food back to one of the benches nearby or back to your chairs if you like to do that. There's also a bar nearby at Breezy Bay and the Snack Shack, so that way you can grab a drink, whether it's an alcoholic cocktail or just simply a soda, that's available for your use here as well. When you're at Coco Key, though, one of the drinks to definitely try is the Coco Loco. Coco Loco is a signature drink of Perfect Day at Coco Key, so give that a try. There are also basketball courts located at Breezy Bay, and basketball courts, of course, where you can play, well, basketball. So really for a pickup game or simply to, you know, try your chance at it, shoot a couple hoops, that's available as well. Also, other activities here, including volleyball. And this is usually just more of a pickup game activity. I don't think Royal Caribbean really organizes anything, but they provide the net and the ball. And you'd be surprised how many people actually go out here and give it a try and have fun just playing volleyball together. There's also ping pong tables. And again, this is also included in your cruise fare. So simply pick up the paddles and give that a try. There's also beanbag toss and life size chess. It's really neat that Royal Caribbean provides all these activities for guests to enjoy, and it's simply first come, first serve. The life-size billiard table is also a really fun one to do. It combines soccer and pool, and it's kind of fun to be able to try your chance at it. My kids always enjoy playing this one whenever we have a chance to go try it out. And there's also Jenga. It's nice having those options there as well. Oasis Lagoon is our next area to stop by at Perfect Day Coco Key. Oasis Lagoon is the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean, and it is massive, and it is included in your cruise fare. There is no additional cost to go to the Oasis Lagoon. And this is a massive pool that's fresh water, obviously. And you can go here and grab a chair nearby. What makes Oasis Lagoon interesting, first of all, it's a pool, so it's fresh water instead of being the seawater. Some people prefer the pools, like me, over the sea ocean. So that's something to have over here as well. It's also not that deep, so it's great for families to enjoy. It does get a little chilly during the winter months, but if you're from the North, you'll probably find it very nice. For us Floridians that are big babies, when the temperature drops below 70, maybe not so much, but there's a great swim up bar. It's really pretty here to go and enjoy your drinks during the day. Alternatively, you can go to the dry walk-up bar on the other side of Oasis Lagoon. I think really the swim up bar is the signature thing about Oasis Lagoon because you go here, enjoy a drink. There's a DJ nearby to play some music and all the chairs and umbrellas are again included in your cruise fare. It's first come, first serve. Oasis Lagoon tends to be a very popular choice among people who go and visit for the day because, well, it's a pool. It's very pleasing, enjoyable to use. There are also Oasis Lagoon Cabanas that do cost extra. There are hammocks you can go to. Those are included in your cruise fare. No additional cost for the hammocks as well. The nice thing is if you want to get away from the party or just the loudness of the center where the swim bar is, if you go to either side of Oasis Lagoon, it gets a little quieter over there, which is great for families or people who just don't want to be part of the party crowd necessarily. And the Oasis Lagoon tends to be one of my favorite go-to places because, again, I prefer the pool personally over the ocean, and it's really nice that you can go there and enjoy that as part of your cruise fare. There's a little transportation around the island. We can talk about the trams that are here. So to get around Perfect Day Coco Key, you can certainly walk, but there are complimentary trams that cost you nothing extra to be able to use, and they'll take you all around the island. Essentially, it is a grand circle tour of Perfect Day at Coco Key, so it can get you not only around the island to get from point A to point B, but also it can be a really nice way to kind of see what's around. Maybe if you're new to Perfect Day Coco Key, and this video certainly is helping you get an idea of what to expect, you can hop on one of these trams and take a tour. Maybe you want to cool down a little bit with the breeze 
That's another option for you. Coco Beach Club is our next stop. Coco Beach Club is an extra cost venue. And essentially, it's a dedicated part of the island for those who want an elevated experience there. Think of the Beach Club as somewhere you can go to pay extra for a limited capacity experience with enhanced dining options. Coco Beach Club is available to all guests of all ages, so kids are allowed in here. Admission to the Coco Beach Club includes a light breakfast for coffee and pastries, higher quality pool towels, access to exclusive beach, infinity pool, clubhouse, and beach chairs with umbrellas, complimentary dining at the Coco Beach Club restaurant, floating mats, now, admission to the Coco Beach Club is not going to be cheap. Ever since the Beach Club opened, lots of people have really wanted to try it out for themselves, and the prices have definitely gone up from there. It's not unreasonable to see a day pass cost at least $200 a person. It really depends on your particular sailing. As you walk into the Coco Beach Club, there is, of course, a bar that you can enjoy. Now, the drinks are not included in admission to the Coco Beach Club. The food is, but not the drinks. It's just like anywhere else on the island. But you can order a cocktail here, beer, whatever you're fancy, and if you have a drink package, of course, that works here as well. And there are a number of cocktails to enjoy, including the Coco Cuvée, which is the signature drink of the Coco Beach Club. It's very refreshing. There's also many seating areas, so admission here gets you essentially a chair, an umbrella, anywhere you'd like to. Some of the tables are reserved for the restaurant, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but also some of these other chairs are available to be able to enjoy, of course, views of the ocean, pool, and areas around you. The restaurant is really one of the shining beacons, one of the main reasons to book a Coco Beach Club. By going to the Coco Beach Club restaurant, you're getting like essentially a specialty restaurant meal, and it has some of the best food that you're gonna find at Perfect Day at Coco Key, or even on Royal Caribbean. I'm really impressed by the steaks and the fish and the various food choices that are available here. I gotta say, the filet mignon is absolutely fantastic. It's so good, it rivals some of those steaks that you're gonna find anywhere else on the ship. So this is way more than like burgers and hot dogs. This is truly gourmet food, and it's included with your admission to the Coco Beach Club. There's no additional cost to eat here. It is probably one of the most compelling reasons to go to the Coco Beach Club, in addition to just, of course, the beach and the pool that are included as well. I can't say enough nice things about the Coco Beach Club restaurant. It's really that darn good. And is it worth spending all the money to go, like, to get admission here? That's a different story. But for a lot of people, they like having exclusivity. They value having an area of the island just for them that has limited capacity. It's a little bit quieter, a little more serene, and it just feels a little more exclusive. And for some people, that's really important to them. For other people, not so much. So it really depends on how you like to enjoy your day visiting here because there are always pros and cons to everything, and this includes the Cocoa Beach Club as well. In addition, there are two types of cabanas you could also rent at the Cocoa Beach Club. And the cabanas are pricey, but they do include admission to the Beach Club as well. There are beach cabanas, and the beach cabanas are, well, set on the beach, and they provide unlimited bottled water, a dining area, four lounge chairs, a sectional sofa, a fridge, ceiling fan, lockable storage, and a charging outlet. The standard beach cabanas are located along the beach and accommodate up to eight guests, plus attendant service is included. And that's one of the best things about having any cabana is that attendant services will bring you food and drinks. Again, the drinks are not included, but the food is. In addition, there's also the floating cabanas. And these are the largest cabanas offered by Royal Caribbean. And they even have a two-person over-the-water hammock, a slide that plunges right in the ocean, and your own wet bar. The floating cabanas are really impressive. They're pretty. And man, on a beautiful day, there is just nothing like it because these cabanas are just so serene, so beautiful. You go right into the water. I mean, they look like something right straight out of Bora Bora. And I think that's really where Royal Caribbean got its inspiration from, from it. And they're not cheap. I mean, you're going to be spending thousands of dollars for one of these to rent for the day. But hey, if it's in your budget and you're looking to really splurge, this is one of the most luxurious ways to spend your day at Perfect Day at Coco Key. With the floating cabanas, they're private, they're off to the side, so really you get very few other people to contend with. And I love the slide that's over here. You gotta prime it up, make sure you use the bench to drench it with water before going down so it's a nice smooth ride into the ocean below you. And they're a really nice way. They're not cheap by any means, but people really, really enjoy that. Should you pay extra to the Coco Beach Club? It really boils down to how much you value being somewhere exclusive. The amplified service, dining, and seating choices at the Beach Club are fantastic. If you're concerned it may sound nicer than it is, fear not, the club lives up to what it promises. In fact, the restaurant alone, I think, is worth the admission. And the infinity pool, along with the in-pool lounges and day beds, are equally impressive. Like many things in life, it all comes down to cost and how much you're willing to pay for it. So really, depending on what cost you can get, it may be worthwhile for you. Next up is another extra cost activity, and that's the up, up, and away helium balloon. 
The Helium Balloon essentially takes you up in the air for a few minutes to be able to enjoy unfettered views all around Perfect Day at Coco Key. Now, I need to warn you that while the balloon does operate, it requires near perfect conditions. Essentially, it can't be windy at all or obviously have any rain there. So odds are more often than not, it's not operating anytime I'm ever visiting, but theoretically it could be up there. And the advantage is you go up and enjoy some fantastic views. Again, if it doesn't go up because of weather, they'll refund your money. But something to keep in mind on before you get your hopes up, no pun intended. Let's move on to South Beach, which is another beach area. South Beach is included in your cruise fare and South Beach is an area you can go to for of course, a different kind of beach day. So Chill Island was about quiet. South Beach is more about a party vibe. Think South Beach as in like Miami Beach. There's a little more energy here. There's gonna be some more music. There's also a floating bar, which we'll look at in a little bit, but South Beach is more of a party atmosphere. Again, I don't wanna make it seem like it's a Las Vegas beach party by any means, but you're gonna find more music here more than anything. That's the biggest difference between South Beach and of course, Chill Island. Something else different about South Beach is they have these palapas in the water along with these lily pads you can get onto and there's no cost to use these. Just simply swim up, grab it. It's yours until you wanna leave. There's also a floating bar. The floating bar does cost extra to go to, but it's a really neat idea because well, it's a bar in the ocean. You just simply swim up to it, climb up, grab your seat and you're good to go. Of course, the drinks cost extra there, but hey, you can go and enjoy your time. But the chairs, umbrellas at South Beach are included in your cruise fares. So you can go here and enjoy your day at South Beach. And really what I think the appeal here is not only the swim up bar, which has an appeal to it in and of itself, but also of course the music as well. There's also a couple bars. The first bar is by the entrance. I'm not sure what this bar actually has a name for it, but South Beach bar is what I'm calling it. Bar number one by South Beach. Anyway, this bar is right by the entrance where the tram drops you off or you walk into it either way. And I enjoy sitting out here and enjoy a drink in one of these Adirondack chairs. There's also bar number two, which is about midway on the beach. And you can see here by the signs, the South Beach bar, but I mean, that's not very descriptive because there's multiple bars at South Beach. Anyway, there's more than one bar at South Beach. So grab a drink, enjoy the view, or go back to your chair. There are also cabanas you can rent at South Beach, just like the Chill Island Cabanas and the Oasis Lagoon Cabanas. The South Beach Cabanas provide you a little bit of your own private space and a view here. The nice thing also about the South Beach Cabanas is that it's a private area. So only South Beach guests who have a cabana are allowed to use this area. So it's a little less crowded, a little quieter in that regard. And I enjoy being able to grab a cabana when the price is right, certainly, you know, less than a thousand dollars. You can make an argument for that. There are also beach beds. You can rent a little further down the beach at South Beach, just like the beach beds you've seen around the island as well. This is another area for you to enjoy. And so way quieter over here than you're gonna find in the rest of South Beach because it's just at the far end of South Beach so again, if you're looking for a quiet spot and these beach beds are so good for taking a nap, this might be the place for you. There's also a snack shack at South Beach. That way you don't have to walk very far to get food. Just like the snack shack over at Chill Island, it's the exact same menu, just a different location. And it's a convenient option. If you're staying in one of the cabanas, they'll actually bring you the food right to your cabana with the concierge service available there. In addition to some of the other activities you're gonna find at South Beach, there's a volleyball court just like the volleyball court at Breezy Bay, same idea, it's complimentary, just grab the ball, jump in, try your fun at it. There's also a pickleball court, which they added, which is a neat idea. Pickleball has become such a popular activity on Royal Caribbean ships, so they've added to South Beach. You're also going to find ping pong tables and a basketball court, lots of activities. Again, they want more energy here at South Beach. And the idea is that you've got all those options for you. And the best part is these activities are included. There's no admission at South Beach, other than the cabanas, of course, and all these activities, are included as well. There's also complimentary restrooms. So there you go. There's also the Cove. And Cove Beach is essentially just a strip of sand. There's not much to it. If you're looking for a more isolated area of Perfect Day Coco Key, well, the Cove is available for you. Essentially, I think once upon a time, this was a crew only area, but they've opened it up to more guests. There's no facilities here. It's just simply an area to go to. And I think the idea is that you just simply walk here for a more quiet experience. There's also a quiet nature trail. If you're looking for more of a walk, I think this is really more about being able to take a walk than actually seeing much of the nature, but there are signs posted to let you know what vegetation is there. You know, a while ago, Coco Key was more vegetation than beach, but these days there's more beach than vegetation. Anyway, it's a way to go check it out. Maybe you'll run across one of the chickens or iguanas that live around the area. In fact, it's not uncommon at all to see a variety of different animals as you're hanging out at South Beach, not to worry, they're all fine. They're usually just looking for a French fry. Don't feed them though. That's really, really important. 
If you want thrills in your Visit the Perfect Day, well then Thrill Water Park is the place for you. With so many slides and pools, you're gonna wanna take advantage of this extra cost area. Thrill Water Park does have an admission cost in order to get in here, and it includes a number of water slides, as the name implies, as well as a couple different pools that you can enjoy. Admission to the water park is priced per person and includes full day admission. Royal Caribbean used to offer half day passes, they don't do that anymore, so everybody that wants to come into the park, regardless if they want to slide or not, needs to pay to get in here. Children under the age of 14 must be accompanied by ticketed guests age 14 or older to enter through a water park. All you need to do is scan your CPAS card and you're good to go. It's made of two basic areas, Daredevil's Peak and Splash Summit Tower, and of course the pools. You'll find chairs and umbrellas and picnic tables throughout each of the water slide towers, as well as near both pools. There are complimentary lockers near the entrance you can use, and restrooms and a first aid station are located near the lockers as well. Thrill Water Park is designed to offer fun and thrilling slides for everybody in the family to enjoy. As I mentioned, there are two towers with slides of varying speeds and intensity. Daredevil's Tower stands at 135 feet high, and there are body slides that feature the longest, tallest, and fastest rides in the park. Daredevil's Peak is 135 feet tall, and it's actually the tallest water slide in North America. Dueling Demons are drop slides in which riders drop 75 feet from a vertical position. There's Green Mamba, a 50 foot tall slide with lots of turns. Screeching Serpent, another 50 foot tall, fully vertical speed slide. Manta Racers, twin racing slides. And then Splash Summit is a family tower where you can ride together with other members of your family. There's Slingshot, a family raft slide, up to four people in a raft that ride up a wall to provide zero gravity sensations. Splash Speedway, a mat slide where the four people can race down. Twister, two rider slide down a tube slide. And then there's Tailspin, which is a family flume style ride that uses the same rafts as Slingshots. Party of two to four guests are sent into the bright green slide before shortly entering a dark tube that's illuminated with colorful lights. There are also two pools at Thrill Water Park. The first is the Wave Pool, which is the largest wave pool in the Caribbean. And then there's Adventure Pool, which is a pool with obstacles you can climb, walk, and swing onto. This includes lily pads, rope swings, and even a rock climbing wall. When my kids were younger, they really loved the Adventure Pool. It's a really cool way to kind of climb and splash and have a goal in mind when you're trying to check it all out. The wave pool is pretty impressive. In fact, if you go all the way to the end, it really gets deep and the waves will go over your head. So be very careful about it. By far, the bigger waves are on the sides as opposed to in the middle of the wave pool. In addition, there's seating all throughout Thrill Water Park and admission here includes the chairs and umbrellas first come, first serve. There are freshwater showers as well. In addition to purchasing admission to the park, you could opt to rent a cabana for the day. Thrill Water Park cabanas can accommodate up to six guests and include a lush sectional sofa and two resort style chairs, as well as power outlets. And your cabana concierge will provide you with eight towels and stock your cooler with complimentary water bottles as well, and additional water bottles available for purchase. Including your cabana purchase is admission to the water park for up to six guests, which is really impressive because that adds a lot of value to it. Now all those slides and pools are gonna generate quite an appetite. So Royal Caribbean included a snack shack location inside of Thrill Water Park. Snack Shack is complimentary and offers hot dogs, salads, burgers, and a lot more. The chicken sandwich and mozzarella sticks are definitely must-tries here. In addition, it's very easy to depart the water park and get food from elsewhere on the island. Skipper's Grill is the closest option and offers more variety than the Snack Shack. There's also a bar in the water park for any cocktails, beers, or non-alcoholic drinks you may want. If you have a drink package, of course, the benefits work here as well. So the water park does cost extra, but if your kids or you want to enjoy a lot of water slides, well, then you might want to purchase admission for it because there's a lot to do here. The lines definitely do build for it, but it is a limited capacity option. So it won't be too, too bad, but it's available as well. Hideaway Beach is Royal Caribbean's adults only area and it offers an enclave for those seeking a kid-free beach day. Hideaway Beach is an extra cost section of Perfect Day and it's available for guests who are at least 18 years old and willing to pay the admission fee. Now this area is more than just another beach without kids. It's a rather large expansion that includes some of the best features of the private day experience in one spot. Hideaway Beach is at the heart an adults only area. It has a number of places including On the Rocks which is a sports bar that you'll only find here at Hideaway Beach and the sports bar is really meant to be able to enjoy not only the great ocean views, but also any of the sporting events on TVs, something you usually don't find on a private island experience. There's also a live band that can perform here throughout the day. And really it's about chilling out, watching the game, having a drink. And when all that runs out, you can also enjoy the great views out here. Hideaway Beach 
has a capacity of just around 1,800 guests, and it's made up of three basic areas. You've got the beach, infinity pools, and cabanas. There are also a number of dining options, including the hideaway hut, which is a new area that essentially is kind of an expansion of the snack shack. It has some of the core menu items of the snack shack, including some other options that you can order from as well. So there's just a bigger menu to choose from. And the food here at Hideaway Hut is included in your cruise fare. So you can still get the amazing mozzarella sticks, crispy chicken sandwich, but other items as well, including shrimp. There are also nearby tables and chairs you can take your food to. And if you'd like to, you can always bring it back to your table or your chairs, wherever they happen to be on the beach. There are a number of bars within Hideaway Beach as well. Again, just for convenience to be able to grab a drink and be on your way. Now, of course, Hideaway Beach, as the name implies, is a really large beach area. And it's more of a cove-shaped beach that provides a lot of space to be able to spread out and enjoy your day. Being an adult-only area, this actual cove that you see here is meant to be very relaxing, separated from the ocean itself, so it's shallow and it's not nearly as rocky as you might find elsewhere, so it's really nice having those options that are available. There are also complimentary hammocks and palapas you can go to. First come, first serve. Some of the swings are really nice over here. They're all the way on the far end of the beach. There's also different bars. I like this little cute boat bar, I guess we'll call it, and where you can grab a beer or a soda and then go back to your chair. Again, it's all about convenience, making sure there's always options nearby to wherever you call your home base of operations. The pool area includes a small bar with DJ that plays party music throughout the day. Royal Caribbean wants this area to be a fun and lively spot. So you're gonna have a party atmosphere in the pool throughout the day. One key difference between the pool at Hideaway compared to Waste Lagoon is that this pool is actually heated. There are day beds in the pool, which are available to whoever claims them first. Royal Caribbean wanted to build an even bigger swim up bar because the swim up bar at Oasis Lagoon was so popular that they wanted this area to be even bigger than that. And so what's great about it is not only swim up bar, but it's heated. It's just really enjoyable. And really, I think a lot of people who go to Hideaway Beach are looking for that Las Vegas pool party vibe and the beach. And you're gonna find certainly the DJ music, high energy vibe. This is basically the polar opposite of Chill Island we talked about at the beginning of the tour of this video. There's also a dry component to the swim up bar. So if you're not interested in getting in the water, you can still enjoy drinks at the dry side of the bar, pull up a chair and be able to see what's happening on the other side. So there's still that atmosphere you can be part of without actually getting into the water. Now there are chairs and umbrellas throughout the area of Hideaway Beach, including cabanas you can get. There are two types of cabanas. The first cabana is more of a beach cabana. And these cabanas provide you essentially the same experience you found in the cabanas elsewhere on the island. It's dedicated for you, the concierge service. It includes towels and you can have your food delivered to you. The best part, of course, is your own private area with some chairs and shade. And I'm a big, big fan of the cabanas because they just provide that exclusivity and I really like them. Now, these cabanas are a lot closer to the pool. So you have the opportunity to be able to spend some time and get back into the pool a lot easier. Slice of Paradise is the other restaurant at Hideaway Beach. And Slice of Paradise is a pizza restaurant. Again, food that you're not gonna find elsewhere at Perfect Day at Coco Key. Pizza's always popular with adults and kids for that matter, but for adults as well. And there's different varieties of pizza that you're not gonna find on board your cruise ship. And being at Slice of Paradise, I just love having a drink and then grabbing a slice of pie and being on my way. It's really nice having there and Slice of Paradise is included in your cruise fare. There's also seating at Slice of Paradise. So if you just wanna grab your food and be able to eat it and then be on your way rather than going back to the beach or to the pool, that's available as an option as well. Now there's also the hideout cabanas and the hideout cabanas are truly the VIP cabanas of Hideaway Beach. So these cabanas are different in the sense that they also offer their own private pool. There's a plunge pool just for guests who have the cabanas here. So not only do you get the cabana and all the amenities we've talked about, but your own little private section of the pool to be able to enjoy their in-pool loungers along with the pool area itself to be able to dunk yourself in. It goes to about chest high or so. And this pool is also heated, which makes it really, really interesting. I also love some of the seating that you're gonna find at the hideout cabanas. In fact, those orange chairs float in the water, if you can believe that. There's also a freshwater shower attached to these cabanas to be able to enjoy. And for the hideout cabanas, this is truly about splurging, having that VIP day, and be able to hang out in your own little infinity pool right by the beach. Who wouldn't want that? Of course, it does cost you extra, so it's up to you how you want to check it out. For Hideaway Beach, the fact that it's an adults-only area is almost secondary to me. I love some of the amenities that Royal Caribbean has included in this area. The cabanas are fantastic, and of course, the party atmosphere. When you go to Hideaway Beach, you're looking for an adult-only area with a big party vibe, and that's what Hideaway Beach delivers on. There's also another big activity at Perfect Day Coquille, and that is a zip line. So you can actually go on the zip line, 
throughout the island. Now, this is an extra cost activity. It's an excursion, essentially. And the cool thing about the zip line at Perfect Day is that there's multiple zip lines. If you've ever been to Labadee, which is Royal Caribbean's other private destination, there is a zip line, but it's one zip line. This is three different zip lines, which allows you to go around the island, get some amazing views, and of course, have the adrenaline rush of going down a zip line, which is really neat. It's a fun activity and something to check out. Captain Jill's Galleon is for the younger kids. This is included, no additional cost for your little ones to enjoy, to be able to soak, splash, splash their parents, get wet themselves and run all around. Really, this is meant as an aquatic jungle gym for young children to be able to go in here. Personally, as an adult, I walk by and get my feet wet so that way I get all the sand off my feet, but that's just me. Also located right nearby is Splashaway Bay. Splashaway Bay is included in your cruise fare. This is also meant for kids. There are more juvenile slides here. So I think this is really meant for the, let's say seven and under crowd, but they're also great for our kids just to be able to get wet. You know, even older kids will enjoy just running around Splashaway Bay, getting drenched. That's the whole idea of this area is that you're supposed to be wet and drenched and getting soaked the entire time and it's included. And finally, we have Harbor Beach. Harbor Beach is another beach. This is included in your cruise fare. And I would say Harbor Beach is probably the least busy beach because it's not necessarily as well known, but it's right in the interior of Perfect Day at Cuckoo Key. Now, more similar to Hideaway Beach, this is its own little cove area, which means that there's no waves, which is great. If you have anybody that's not a really good swimmer or can't swim at all, this is really the place for you. They've also added those lily pads that we first saw at South Beach. And this is a really neat area, actually like going here, just kind of chill out. And it's a lot less busy, some of the other beaches, especially South Beach. So a good alternative included in your cruise fare and very conveniently located as well. It's pretty easy to get here and then back to your ship as you need to. Everything you see here in terms of seating is included. It's first come first serve for the chairs, umbrellas, and even the beach bag chairs. The Cracked Coconut is the name of the bar that's located at Harbor Beach. And this is just another convenient bar area for you to be able to grab a drink and then go back to your chair and enjoy it. I do appreciate there are chairs here at the bar to be able to sit and enjoy the views as well. Then there's Skipper's Grill, which is another complimentary dining venue. Skipper's Grill is a lot like Chill Grill, same sort of food. You've got sandwiches, you've got salads, you've got hot dogs, you've got burgers, you've got a topping station. One of my favorite things to do actually is here for like a poor man's Chipotle meal, where I'll actually grab, you know, rice and beans and chicken and different salsas and create my own little Mexican rice bowl, if you will. But there's also choices as well, including chicken and hot dogs. And for some people, that's a really big deal, having that burgers and hot dogs on a beach day. Also tacos that you can make. So combination of beach and tacos and salads, whatever you're in the mood for, they've got it here at Skipper's Grill. You'll also find an ice cream station at Skipper's Grill, which is included in your cruise fare. One of my favorite tips is to actually grab the chocolate chip cookies from the dessert station at Skipper's Grill, come back here, make an ice cream sandwich for yourself, you're welcome. Also, there are a beverage station with complimentary water and juices that you can choose from. There's also a bar nearby if you'd like to get a drink to go with your meal or simply stop by on your way. There's lots of seating around here. And the great thing about Skipper's Grill is the seating is actually on a deck and you can look at what's happening over at Harbor Beach and it's really pretty and I enjoy grabbing my food and going over here and enjoying the view along with my lunch. And we have Captain Jack's. Captain Jack's is a bar. And what's interesting about Captain Jack's is number one, it's not near any water. Well, it's near the water. You're not actually getting in the water here, I should say. And there's also a lot of creative seating and entertainment. This is meant to have different musical acts throughout the day. There's a pirate show for kids and more of a guitarist for adults later on. There are fun swings by the bar to be able to enjoy. And really, I think what Captain Jack's is about is you wanna get a perfect day, you wanna have a drink, but you're not necessarily interested and going in the ocean, at least not right away anyway. It's a good pit stop. If you're there on a day in which it's a little breezy or not that hot, maybe this is your stop for the day. There are also wings and fries you can purchase. Now the wings and fries cost extra. This is not included. But if you're interested in getting these things, well, they do have them here at Captain Jack's. Something that makes this area just a little bit different. But ultimately I go to Captain Jack's usually as either my first stop of the day or my last stop of the day. So there you have a look at Perfect Day at Coco Key. There's a lot to do on this private island. And not everything costs extra. That's one of the beauties of this private day experience is that Royal Caribbean included a lot in your cruise fare that's included in your day here. But if you so choose, you could spend extra and go to some of the other venues that are there. Hopefully this tour provided you a really good idea of what to expect. And that way, when you go to visit Perfect Day, you'll know exactly what you wanna do and where you wanna go and have a fantastic time there. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. That way YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. 
This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.